We are back with more of our special coverage of the Democratic National Convention. Vice presidential nominee Tim Walz is set to speak tonight as he faces some criticism from his Republican opponent, Senator J.D. Vance, for not accurately identifying his wife's fertility treatment. Walz's wife, Gwen, described their fertility struggles in an article for Glamour magazine saying their children were conceived through a treatment called intrauterine insemination, also known as IUI. Governor Walls has implied they used IVF. Uh, Harris, Walls' campaign spokesperson, clarified Walls' remarks, saying, quote, he was using commonly understood shorthand for fertility treatments. Joining us now from the DNC, Dr. Kavita Patel, a, an, MS, an NBC and MSNBC News medical contributor. She's also a former Obama White House policy director. Good to see you, Dr. Patel. What is the difference between IVF and IUI, and how important is language in this case? Yeah, thanks. Good to be with you both. So IUI and IVF are accurately types of fertility treatments. They come under that broader umbrella. IVF involves a little bit more of kind of a medical procedure where you end up taking out kind of a person's eggs and you have that combined with sperm to create embryos, usually in a lab setting, and then put that embryo back into a uterus in order to hope hopefully facilitate a live birth and a pregnancy. That's the outcome of also IUI. You want a healthy baby from a pregnancy. And IUI is just a different type of procedure, not as much of an anesthesia or some of the things that I just mentioned with IVF, but it's still technically a procedure, Anna, and you have to actually do it under a doctor's supervision, and it's done in an office-based setting. And yes, when I talk to patients about these fertility treatments, they often say, oh, I saw my IVF doctor, or I got IVF, because you're right, it's technically different, but under the same umbrella. And faulting Tim Waltz for it just obfuscates from the very obvious that we're talking about access to health care. And the irony is that any of these treatments are under threat from the plan that, that Vance and that Trump have put together along with Project 2025. Yeah, I mean, this line of attack, doctor, do you think it's something that most patients that you deal with have just confusion about just because it's so specific and it's, you know, three initials versus three different initials? Absolutely. L listen, Jose, I, I can't stress this enough. Gwen Waltz coming out about this years after she had this treatment, which, by the way, like, obviously, there's so many emotions coming out of that. She did that to try to reduce the stigma and educate people about what's on the line in 2024. It's not just access to these very specific treatments. It's access to reproductive health care and basic health care. So I do think that this is not just one of several narratives, but it's unfortunate because patients, they didn't go to medical school like I did, Jose. They didn't try to understand what are the different types of treatments, but they're all there to help a woman have a baby. That's the truth. This is a family that came forward about something that they kept pretty private because that's their right, and they wanted to do this to actually shine light on this issue. Instead of praising the Waltzes for having this moment, what we're doing is actually just, again, obfuscating from what's very obvious to me, because we're hearing many more stories here at the Democratic Convention about services being denied, health care being denied, and that's really what's at stake. Dr. Kavita Patel, thanks for the conversation. Like you said, it's such a personal is. issue, such a, a, an emotional issue for a lot of families in this country. Yeah. Thank you.